I uh, am now on step three. <coughs> the tank uh, exploded in an orgy of death and destruction two days ago. That would have been on Tuesday. Following putting a heater in the tank on Monday. I have since checked the heater and discovered that the that the control tab which was broken off was in addition damaged and broken off inside the unit. <clears throat> so apparently it broke initially loose from the, the controlling mechanism inside the heater and then was forced in such a way, <coughs> excuse me, as to cause the tab on the controller to snap off. I don't know whether I'm going to be able to get it open. It's pretty tight. I'm going to have to work with some tools to try to get it apart. It's, um, I, if I break the tube, all bets are off. So I'm going to try to avoid breaking the glass tube and see if I can't get the, uh, the guts out of it so I could maybe repair it. Maybe. In any case, <clears throat> by the next day, the temperature was down to relatively normal. And I decided, because the water was uh, very dark, very brown, obviously had a huge amount of organics in it, I decided to drain the tank. So I did that. I then added an inch or so of sand, new sand, pull filter sand, to the top of it. I had water still remaining on the top, so I put a, a heavy towel on the water to soak it up. Did that, put the towel outside to dry, and then began filling the tank. Uh, I have well water here, so I began filling it with cold well water. Accomplished that, found a heater that works, put the heater in, got the temperature up to about 82, and then began planting the tank. And this, unfortunately, is as close as I can get. I'm going to have to get an extension on this. But you can see it's planted. Actually, more heavily than, it, heavily than it looks. And there is a trio of bettas in it. So that's the current status. It's Thursday morning. I'm about to leave here <clears throat> to go to Thanksgiving dinner at uh, a niece's house. And there she sits, a little cloudy, but it's clearer than it was yesterday. And I think it'll clear up even more. The plants are Bacopa and I think a uh, Ludwigia. So we'll see how they do. To a couple of big bunches of stem plants that, that EJ sent me. The um, the sword plant, which I put in the end tank, I think is cooked. I'd be surprised if it weren't. But I checked it this morning, and the leaves uh, are are like wet tissue paper that just kind of ready to fully disintegrate. It's possible the root system is alive. I rather doubt that as well, uh, because it was pretty hot in there 
for a number of hours. So I'm afraid the plants are done. I did pull a couple of octopus out. I haven't checked them, but I'm sure they will have suffered the same fate. <clears throat> Meanwhile, let's uh, take a look at our, uh, I need a name for this tank. This is my 20-year-old deep substrate. <coughs> we need a name for the tank. There's some bettas in here that appear to be spawning. So we'll see how all this works out. This tank is available online on our 24-7 channel. You can view it along with a group of others from around the world. So, happy Thanksgiving. <laughs> uh, I'll be back here Saturday night with AJ. Uh, and I rather think what we're going to do, I'm interviewing uh, our research scientists on Discord tomorrow that's friday and we should have that video up this weekend that'll be particularly exciting and that's going to kick off a brand new approach to our entire network i have a video prepared for that i have to do a little more background uh tweaking in order to be ready for it but uh Look for some pretty exciting stuff happening in the next few days. Happy Thanksgiving. Take care. Love you all. Bye for now.